So the next part, we want um, to start adding some effects here, or let's say some layers of effects. So the first layer is essentially, it will occupy most of these, um, most of the area, especially the red area here, right? Essentially the yellow area, area would be some kind of bright distance, reddish uh, noise. And then you have some clouds and then at the very bottom you will have some kind of uh, stars and things like these right you can change the order and uh, see how it looks but for now we will try to replicate uh, what i have shown earlier okay so let's um let's for example first thing we need to do is just copy uh, what we have in our uh, volumetric cloud shaders especially the the flow map part so i'm just going to copy this all right let's copy all of this and i'm gonna change this oops i'm gonna change this to texture coordinate um this one i'm gonna turn it into vector 2 all right Initialize both components at 0 0.5. Get rid of this. Same goes here. Set this to 1. And let's try to visualize how this looks. Alright. Alright, so this is what we want. Okay. And as you can see, uh, with this multiply here, we get rid of the tiling, right? So just to grab only the what we need. So with this in place, you can control the scale. I'm gonna leave it 0 0.45 for now. And then, I will use some custom rotator, right? So I want to have some control over the um, the rotation here of this flow map. So the UVs will be this, the rotation center will be this, and the rotation angle, we expose it. And you move this here. Now, as you can see, you can rotate. So I'm just going to set to 0, 0, 3, 5, minus 3, 5. Should be fine. All right, now with this in place, we want to use flow maps. All right. and this will be our flow vector and i'm gonna create the texture object let's look for clouds or let's say smoke there is some soft smoke uh, texture it looks like this you can pick something else if you want maybe you can find something more uh, higher resolution and uh, you know more detailed or something okay I don't think there is anything by default here so we can just stick to this smoke texture okay and also it's not a bad idea like it's not a bad idea to have low risk texture that's actually um good for for uh, for performance since the uh, texture sampling uh, becomes much cheaper because here you have like um you have many texture sampling going on right So with this in place, let's try to visualize it. Just wanna visualize this one. 
Okay, first of course you need to um, to control the UVs and for this one I'm gonna set extra coordinate and I'm gonna call this cloud styling okay let's hit apply and as you can see we have this let's adjust um, the material instance here all right <clears throat> so we can control this is term scale as you can see gonna leave it like this cloud styling minus one minus two minus one point five flow map intensity right uh, you can control the rotation angle so something like this is fine right now one additional thing um i want to use um parallax occlusion mapping here essentially i want to use this um this height map uh, if you want to consider it like this i want to use it to to offset the um the pixels based on the the camera and the the surface angle and there is a special node for that in Unreal called Bump Offset now all we need to do here is duplicate this obviously this will make our shader much more complex but um, it can give much better results probably you don't need this but but for our tutorial you will just keep this here right it might be useful for you later in maybe in other cases because in this one the clouds are way too far right so might not be very noticeable uh, this effect so let's just uh, use this as the coordinates and um, the the height map will be this let's just make sure to grab the green channel for this height map and this is the the height ratio we're gonna expose now this gives us new UVs right so we just plug this here very simple same thing goes here you need obviously to plug this now uh, with this in place let's try to adjust the material instance okay zero three minus zero three minus one 
Five. Yeah, the effect is not quite noticeable. So you can maybe get rid of this if you want. If you don't, maybe you don't really need it. Only noticeable like when you move quick, you move fast essentially around this, and you might notice some some barrier of seclusion, right? All right. So with that in place, um, we need to to say um, the steel. I'm gonna say mask, and then multiply this. Right, gonna multiply it by um, a color for now, okay? So, just we we get something to visualize, All right? And to just try to choose something blue color maybe and then maybe you want to adjust the tiling a bit minus two Can increase flow map intensity, but not too much. Just be careful with this stuff. Okay. Yeah. So this is just a ways for us to quickly visualize visualize things. This uh, will not look like this eventually later on so yeah i guess um this should do it for this part um next part you will focus on adding another layer of detail mm -hmm.